So Unreal Engine 5.1 is now available on the Epic Games Launcher and this is how you get it. Log into the Epic Games Launcher with your credentials and go straight to your library and in there you'll see that there is now an exclamation mark indicating that there is a new engine version available. Click on the plus button just to add a new engine version to the launcher and you'll see in the drop down menu 5.1 and you can select that and it will start to download. And it may take a while to do this, it's about 20 gig all in, but once you've got it you'll be able to open any of your previous projects in 5.1. I ran into my first issue when trying to open a previous project. So what you're supposed to do is open Unreal Engine 5.1, select the project you want to open and it will offer you to open a copy because if you just convert it to 5.1 you can't then backtrack. I did this but I have a habit of not naming my maps. <laughs> I keep it as the default map name which is a problem if you're launching into Unreal Engine 5.1 because what it'll do is overwrite the whole map that you've made with the generic table and chairs scene which is really helpful. All I had to do was go back to Unreal Engine 5, rename the map and then try opening as a copy again. So if you run into that problem that's how you solve it. If you want to know more about what's actually in 5.1 because there is so much head to the Unreal Engine roadmap and I've put a link in the description for you so you can follow that and while there are a ton of new features some of them are going to be more relevant to games some of them more relevant to virtual production for me personally I'm more interested in the path tracing updates in Lumen and Nanite. Path tracing now supports the sky atmosphere fog and height fog which is incredible so I'm going to be trying that out in a moment. There's also the decal support and multi-GPU rendering amongst other things. Lumens had loads of stability and bug fixes as well as performance optimizations. They're trying to push Lumen so that it can reach 60 frames per second which is very exciting too. Now I of course couldn't help myself so I dove into Unreal to try out the new path traced exponential height fog which ships in this new version. The way to enable it if you're having trouble is to make sure that you go to your post process volume and to enable reference atmosphere otherwise you won't see anything actually change. Once you've clicked that you your atmospherics will kick in. It looks really nice and you can actually start using things like spotlights like I have done in this scene here. So I imagine you could probably get some really nice path traced god rays with this new update. So now with the fog enabled I've done a quick render. Here's a before and after. <laughs> 